There's our friends the Joneses. Look how excited they are to get started building their new home. In our last episode, the Joneses started the permitting process and learned their wetlands on their property. What would that do to their dreams? Well, with the help of planning staff and a consultant, they learned that by slightly altering their plans, they could move forward with their project by avoiding critical areas. Honey, I'm sure glad that we're making progress, though I'd really like to know why these wetlands are so important. I mean, it's not that wet all around here. I don't see any ducks swimming by. Well, they must be important for some reason, or otherwise they wouldn't be regulated. Right, Mr. Frog? That's right. Wetlands are regulated across the U.S. from the local, state, and federal level. Why? Because wetlands do important things, and we as a society find those things valuable. That's why wetlands are classified and regulated based on their functions and values. Their what now? Their functions and values. Allow me to explain. A function is something that is performed. Kind of like my Elvis impersonation. Some functions of wetlands are pollution filtration, erosion control, flood storage to moderate flooding, provide carbon storage, and provide crucial habitat for wildlife. And many of these wetland functions have value to people. They help protect our property, keep our drinking water clean, provide food for humans and wildlife, give us places to hunt and fish, and provide us recreational opportunities and beautiful scenery. So you see, the reason wetlands are protected is because they provide value to society, not just the critters that live in them, like me. Hmm. I get it now. So does that have anything to do with what our consultant did for us? Did somebody call my name? Well, your name did come up. When I did your wetland delineation and wrote up the report on your property, I looked for the three indicators that show it's a regulated wetland. Hydrology, hydric soils, and hydric plants. In this area, all three were present, meaning this part of your property is a regulated wetland. Whereas that part over there isn't. It's considered upland. I then rated that wetland using the Department of Ecology's wetland rating system to determine what functions this wetland provided. Let's look at that report. The functions and values of the wetland depend on its size, location, ecological health, and interconnectedness to other waters. As a result, each wetland is unique, which complicates the measurement of its value. This is why it may be difficult to the untrained eye to see why wetlands are regulated. There are four categories of wetlands according to the rating system, with category one being the highest and category four being the lowest. Here are the scores for your functions of your wetland. Eight for water quality, five for hydrologic functions, and 10 for habitat functions. That makes a total score of 23. And according to the Whatcom County Critical Areas Code, a total score of less than 30 means you have a Category 4 wetland. A Cat 4 wetland with a habitat score of less than 20 and a moderate intensity land use next to it, such as a single family house, has a 40 foot buffer and a 10 foot building setback. Well, if it wasn't for that dang 40 foot buffer, we could have a larger house and put it farther away from the road. Why do we have to have a buffer? Buffers are the transition zone around a wetland between it and any disturbing activities. And just like wetlands, buffers have functions and values. The area around the wetland helps the wetland perform its functions, and so they too have value to us. The buffers do the best work when they're undisturbed and vegetated. The plants reduce impacts to the water quality within the wetland by controlling erosion and removing pollutants from stormwater runoff. Also, if there's a large, sudden fluctuation of water, like after a storm, the buffer protects the wetland by slowing down and moderating the severity of those water fluctuation levels. Buffers also provide essential habitat for wetland-associated species. Well, how are we supposed to get to the house if we have to put the driveway through the buffer? Well, there is a way to mitigate any necessary impacts. Well, what are we supposed to do? Stay tuned!